public domain versus open access. And both of them provide free access to data. But the thing is with open access, as you've learned uh, from the other speakers, is that the, it's about ownership of that copyright and then licensing it and being kind enough to license it. The federal government actually by law has no ownership because it's the US uh, taxpayers have paid for this. So that's why it's available to you. Now, all praise the open access movement and open data. We love them. Again, remember, public domain has no copyright restrictions, which usually means that you, you don't need permission to get this. You could just take it and use it. Usually public domain, a lot of people think about, oh, that it's, it's out of copyright because it's older. But federal government, all of their work, not just their data, not just their reports, but all of the work that the federal government as employees uh, for their job is made available to the public for free. Um, and so it was before open access, public domain. And all because you can get this and there is no ownership. Public domain data, anything that's open, anything in public domain, it's still ethical to cite attribution. Where did you get this from? Yes, you didn't have to get permission, but you still need to say, where did you get this information? And one of the things that I think a lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of individuals who make up generating data. And this is one of the things um, that um, the previous speaker was talking about. You, you, the, the, the software developers, the statisticians, the writers, the designers, all of those are individual people. They're, and when those people say, oh, we need a data librarian, realize what are you, what is the role that you want to get that data librarian for? Do you want a subject expertise? Do you want a visualization? Who do you want in that role? Because it is made up of a lot of really talented people. Um, and there's no one person to get to it. But like I said, I'm a business librarian. And so to me, I'm always looking for business information. And in federal government information, has a lot touches upon business and a lot of different fields throughout you go throughout yes there's the data but there's the laws and the csr reports and the courts that are interpreting the laws and all the fact books and and all of these different things that are being generated that are available for you that can be found through google but usually the serv for that you know there is the federal government does not push their data up in the Google results. So you have to really find the data either by strategic Googling or by um, using some of the guides that I'm gonna be talking about. 